thank you so much for watching. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is a hair tutorial. And this is my go-to kind of hairstyle. I usually curl my hair when I'm two to three days into my hair already being washed. And I actually kind of enjoy having my hair straight for a couple of days. And then I can change it up to having curly hair and just one wash. Instead of, you know, having curly hair. If you don't like it, you have to wash it and straighten it. So... It's the method that has, been, that has been working the best for me at this point. So what you're going to need is a curling iron. For this type of curls that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to use the Remington. I don't really know. I think this is about an inch. I got it at Target. I think it's about an inch size. And now I always, I've seen some people that don't use the glove that comes with these barrels. But I always use my glove. It's just for me, my personal preference to be on the safe side. And you're going to need a comb. I like using the small combs because that gets through, you know, gets all the knots out of your hair. So you're not curling through the knots because that's not good for your hair. You can break it. And I'm just going to use a little butterfly. Just to, you know, tuck hair away and stuff like that. I'm going to do, I'm going to section my hair right about in the middle of my ears. And then the back of the hair, I'm going to part it in two and bring it towards me. So I like to put my glove on the left hand and hold the barrel with the right hand. So I'm going to grab the right side of my hair, brush it with the comb, and hold my barrel pointing down, and then wrap the hair in the barrel. And let it go, not brushing the hair. Just don't even touch it. Leave it like that. And it's kind of hot. Now the next side, I'm going to hold the barrel down again. And I'm going to curl away from my face one more time. Now, onto the next section of hair. I'm going to part my hair right above my ears, which is this part over here. I'm going to bring, part it in the middle again, and I'm going to bring my hair forward one more time. And then this time, I'm just going to grab, if you want, you can clip this side away, but my hair usually gets marked very fast. So I don't like to put anything in there because then I'm going to mark. So, it's, but it's, at the same time, it's pretty easy to just, you know, grab the hair that's not curled. Again, holding the barrel facing down, I'm going to curl away from my face and I'm going to leave my hair flat. Hold it there for about 5 seconds, maybe 7 seconds. It really depends on your type of hair, so listen to your hair. I mean, if your hair is burning or something. And again, I'm going to show you one more time. The barrel, it's going to lay down and you're going to lay your hair flat on the barrel. And notice that I'm not brushing to the curls yet. Now this section is the biggest section and I'm going to curl like right, I'm going to grab my hair like right by my eyebrows. Again, I'm going to section my hair in two in the back, bring all of my hair forward, bring all of my hair forward, and then this part I'm going to section into three sides. The first one is here. Believe it or not, it really makes a difference when you brush out the hair than sometimes what I would do is brush out the hair entirely before I started curling and then I would just use my hand to part my hair into pieces. But when I brush my hair by sections as I'm parting it and then brushing it and curling it, I feel like the curls look so much better. They look so much smoother. I could even say that they look even shinier because since all your hair is detangled, I feel like it looks very, so much better.
Now that I got to the final section of my hair, and now I am going to put this little clipper over here. I'm going to hold the back of my hair, and then the rest of my hair is just going to fall down. Now this is a tricky part, because now I'm going to part my hair to go right in the middle. Well, obviously not all the way down, because we have this hair already clipped to the back. So you're going to part it until you have, you know, loose hair. Bring it to both sides of your face. <laughs> On another note, I tried to film so many times today, you guys have no idea, and I think everything was against me. I even, I usually film with daytime light, you know, during the day. Now it's like 4 o'clock, but since daytime, um, what's it called? Daylight savings, whatever. It gets darker so much faster. Because it's not all about the makeup, right? You came here to have a good time. I'm still curling away from my face, you know. Just in case you lost track of me. Of what I'm actually doing here. Away from the face. Again. I'm just crazy. Don't mind me. I'm freaking psycho. Some people would like change the barrel to the other hand and the glove too, to the but I can't seem to know how to hold the barrel on my left side and I feel like I'm going to burn myself so I just try to, you know. Now, I'm going to run my fingers, fingers? <laughs> Now I'm going to run my fingers through my hair. Okay, so lately I have been liking the part in the middle. So what I have been doing is, after I run my fingers through my hair, I don't have to run a comb through it because if I do run a comb through it, then my curls are all going to fall and this would have been for nothing. But I love putting my hair, like the front of my hair, back in my ears. And then I kind of plump it up with my hands, just like this. I don't use any kind of heat protectant, I don't use any kind of oil sprays or anything like that because I feel like kind of that, that kind of weighs my hair down. I guess I do, I should kind of use some kind of heat protectant, but honestly I don't. I feel like it weighs my hair down. I feel like if I wet my hair with some kind of spray and then I curl it, like the curls get crunchy and that's not the look that I want to go for. So what I do, like I said in the beginning, I usually wait until it's like the second day, maybe even the third day of my wash. And then I'll go ahead and curl my hair. So it, that way, you know, it has like its natural oils. Okay guys, so we have come to the end of the video. Like I said, you could do part in the middle. You could, you know, flip your hair to the side, be all sexy. You could part on the side, whatever it is that you want to do. I really hope that this method of curling your hair helped you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.